What's up, everybody? It's Friday, another day, and that means it's another chance for a win. So, driving to work, here's what I'm going to talk about this morning. Uh, I got a text this week from a coaching friend of mine, and so I'm going to talk about basketball, and then you figure out how this pertains to you, because this is one of those things that applies to a lot of things in life. Uh, I've got a text from a friend of mine, uh, junior high basketball season about to start. You know, we were talking about, you know, just different things. He asked me a couple questions, how they could get better. So I said, you know, um, here, here's what I would do, you know. And uh, here's kind of the point of my story. Then last night, I had basketball camp, or we had basketball camp at Prairie Home, the school that I'm at. And they asked me to come in and work with the kids. So I went in last night, worked with the kids, did some, you know, simple drills, trying to, you know, work on shooting form, things you do with little kids, third grade kids, fourth grade kids. So here's the point. Uh, you know, I get a lot of calls and texts like that asking for advice. And my advice is usually really simple. And anybody that's ever been in the gym with me or ever watched this practice, you know, we might go really, really hard. But, you know, we're not doing some drill that nobody's, you know, it's like a brand new drill. Well, I've never seen that drill before. You know, we might have a different point of emphasis. We might have a different uh, teaching point that we use, et cetera, et cetera. But for the most part, the things that we did were really, really simple. And we did those things over and over and over until we were phenomenal at the simple things. And now think about how this applies to your own life. I'll give you another example. Uh, the ladies at our school that are in our title program, Title I reading program, that work with our you know young readers and try to get them up to grade level and things like that. If you've ever sat over somebody's shoulder and watched somebody uh, try to teach somebody else how to read, it's very tedious, it's very uh, methodical, it's very, you know, I mean, I don't want to use the word boring because because it's not boring, but it's not flashy. It's not like, wow, that was amazing. I would have never thought of that. It was, It's just doing the same simple thing over and over and over. And then what happens in life is there's a tipping point. For everything you do in your life, you know, you're, you're pushing, you're pushing, you're pushing, you're pushing. And then all of a sudden there's that point at which it tips, you know, where your momentum whether it's positive or negative, finally, it's just too great. You can't even hold it back anymore. And uh, that's, you know, that's what I, you know, think happens when somebody is finally successful. You know, the best players that I ever coached, they did those simple things over and over and over and over and over until you just couldn't hold their momentum back anymore. They hit that tipping point. They were going to be successful. You know, if you think about anything you've ever done in your life, if you've ever been, been on a workout program, you know, as you get older, you try to get on a weight loss program or, you know, just a fitness program. You know, you're getting up and you're you're walking 30 minutes every day or you're exercising, you know, for 45 minutes a day. You know, after doing that for a week, for two weeks, for three weeks, at a certain point, it can get to be boring. You know, it can get to be, you're doing the same thing over and over and over. But it's being phenomenal at doing those simple things over and over and over that separates the people who really get where they want to be, you know, because what happens is most people do that same thing over and over and over and they go, you know what, it's not working. And they let it fall back instead of, you know what, I'm just going to keep pushing, pushing, pushing until they hit that tipping point, you know. So that's my talk for today. You know, be phenomenal at the simple things. Uh, and if you can do that today, that's that's one day and then wake up tomorrow guess what day tomorrow is tomorrow is going to be today again and then you win that day and then you wake up the next day and guess what day it's going to be it's today again and you win that day and if you can do that enough days in a row uh, it doesn't mean every day is going to be a good day it just means that you're going to try to find a way to find the positive and keep 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 pushing until you hit that tipping point with your momentum to be successful or do you let it fall back and you have to start all over so uh that's my talk today happy friday to everybody have a great weekend if you like it share it check out the website justwindoday.com everybody have a great day